story is called Ernest Emma and the Surprise Cupcakes. Learn about patience and honesty with Emma, even when nobody is watching. Mmm, Emma smells something yummy in the kitchen. It's coming from that box. Don't take from the box, Emma dear, says Mommy with a smile. Don't ruin the surprise, says Daddy. Emma thinks to herself, Just one quick peek wouldn't hurt. They're her favorite chocolate cupcakes! Emma can hardly wait. Without another thought, Emma popped one into her mouth. Mommy and Daddy came home to find one of the cupcakes missing. Uh-oh, Hedgie ate it, says Emma. Hedgies cannot eat chocolate. They will get very sick. We need to take Hedgie to the vet, says Mommy, worried. Emma looked at Mommy and Daddy. They might get mad if she confesses now. She felt bad. She thought a little lie wouldn't hurt, but now Hedgie's dragged into it. In a small voice, Emma says, Actually, it was me. I lied about the cupcakes and blamed Hedgie. I am sorry. Mommy and Daddy were relieved. Thank you, Emma, for telling us the truth. Mommy says, The cupcakes were a surprise for you, but we wanted to share the moment with you as a family. called Ernest Emma and the Loss of a Feathery Friend. Learn about dealing with loss as Emma says goodbye to her pet bird, Magic. Emma's pet bird named Magic was old. Magic passed away one day. Feeling sad, Emma sees an ad for the zoo with a parakeet that looks just like Magic. At the zoo, the zookeeper asks Emma, Little girl, are you alright? My pet bird Magic just died, and I thought I might find him here. I see, says the zookeeper. How do you feel right now? It feels like I'm going to be sad forever. Big fat tears began to roll down Emma's face. Ah, says the zookeeper. I think you might be experiencing grief. Losing a pet is hard, but I'm glad you came to the zoo. We've got lots of interesting animals here. Might get your mind off of things, you know? Emma is feeling better after talking to the zookeeper. She even finds the parakeet that looks just like magic. Emma secretly believes that parakeet recognizes her too. Come and visit us anytime. Parakeet seems very fond of you, smiles the zookeeper. Emma waves goodbye. Even though she still misses magic, talking about it did make her feel better. Emma begins to think about her next visit to the zoo. is called Ernest Emma and the Magic Forest Adventure. Learn about leadership and teamwork as Emma uses only three words in order to lead everyone to safety. Emma and her friends go for an adventure in the Magic Forest. After walking for a while, they realize they're lost and don't know where to go. Emma stumbles upon a magical map that only she can read. She is very surprised. On the top of the map, it reads, Whoever picks this up must choose three words which will be the only words they can speak until they find their way out of the forest. Emma thinks long and hard and eventually decides on three words. Forward, left, right. Forward, uh, left, left, right. I mean, forward, 
and right. This is tough. Emma guides the group through twisting roads and magic trees. Although Emma can only say three words, and her friends are scared, she was determined not to leave anyone behind. Right. Soon, the friends reach a clearing in the forest and a path that leads them home. Emma led everyone to safety. Yay! Yay! Emma knew her friends counted on her. She used her bravery and determination to lead the pack. With a little courage, with a little bravery, we'll make it to the end. This story is called Ernest Emma's Magical Unicorn Friendship. Learn about friendship and belonging when a shy unicorn shows up at Emma's school. Emma heads to school and bumps into a unicorn in the playground. Unicorn nervously touches her horn and runs off. Maybe she's shy because she's new, thought Emma. I hope she's in room four with me too. I love making new friends. The new unicorn is in her class. Yippee! Emma thought. Unicorn is shy. She touches her horn and stares at the floor. When unicorn sat down alone, Emma sits down next to her. Hi, I'm Emma. She says. Rainbow says the unicorn. Emma comforts her and helps her day by day. Rainbow gains confidence in herself. She's got Emma in her corner. When it's PE, Emma picks Rainbow as her team partner. Even though Emma didn't say it out loud, Rainbow knows she can be herself, and Emma will stick by her no matter what. One morning, Rainbow shows up at school without her horn. Notice anything different? She says. Emma beams. You're being you, and that's super cool. Yay! Yay! This story is called Ernest Emma and How to Train a Flying Pegasus. There's an exciting race that Emma decides to join, but she needs a team to train a Pegasus to fly. Ernest Emma is going to try something she's never ever done before: Pegasus racing. Her new Pegasus name is Apollo. Emma thought it's cool to train Apollo all on her own, but Apollo just won't fly. After trying all day, it still wouldn't listen to Emma. Emma thought, "Hmm, I really, really want to train Apollo alone, but now I don't know. Maybe working alone isn't always the coolest." Emma sees Dougie and Big T working on the other side of the park. What if I ask them for help? Emma thought to herself. Hi, Emma. Dougie and Big T say. Emma feels embarrassed to ask for help at first because she thought she could do it all on her own. But maybe asking for help is the only way to make Apollo fly. Emma decides to try. Hey friends, my Pegasus won't fly. I've tried all day, but I can't get her to fly. Could you guys help me? <laughs> of course, Doogie says. You know. You need at least two people to steer a Pegasus, right? Emma didn't know that at all. Big T says, "Hey Emma, what if you joined our flying team? That way, we could all work together to win the race." After that, Emma joins Big T and Dougie's team, and they all train together. Finally, Apollo got to fly. Emma couldn't have made it happen without her friends and her team. Yay! Some things can be done alone, but sometimes things are better when done in a team. 
In those cases, teamwork makes the dream work.